Good morning, DMV. You are tuned into the Kickback with me, your host, Diamond B. Frazier. We are live at Dragon Digital Radio at Howard Community College. We are back. This is season two, episode six. Don't quote me, but I think I'm right. <laughs> so I got with me Euro from Merlin. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are everybody doing? We chilling, we chilling. Right. This is the Kickback, you feel me? Oh, yeah. So what part of Maryland are you from? So originally, you know what I'm saying, I was born in D.C., spent okay. the earlier parts of my life in Suleiman, but the majority in Clinton. And, um, I mean, i just been around everywhere as far as, like, PG County and the city concerned, so I got a lot of influences, a lot of places. Okay. <laughs> so do you have the mentality, like, your music is different from everybody else? Because every single person that I've come in contact with, every single person, when they like, you got to hear my music, this is a different sound. Do you feel that way? You feel like it's with the culture? I mean, every artist is supposed to feel like they got a different sound. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I can say that is because my influences came from, from different angles. So, like, growing up, I listened to a lot of, like, underground, like, a lot of underground shit, like Knife Wonder, my bad job. Knife Wonder, just a lot of hip-hop artists. Mm -hmm. But then I still listen to, like, the UGKs right. and, a, and and Three Six Mafias and stuff like that, and so I guess you could say that's where the fusion came, as far as my influences and why I feel like you know I got a different type of sound. Right. Yeah. So you pushing this single right now called Mexican. I did have a chance to listen to it. Oh, wow. Right. Somebody asked me how you really feel about it. I'm gonna be honest. I did like it. I might go hold you. I did. Um, to say it sounded different. I wouldn't really say that. It sounds kind of like what's going on now, which is good because I think it's radio friendly. I think it's a radio friendly song. Um, I thought it was funny, just the concept of you working hard like a Mexican. I'm not going to hold you. I was cracking up laughing, but I really like this song. So where did that come from? Like, how did you get that song? How did I get that? Yeah. I mean, well, basically, to touch briefly on that song, the reason why I believe it's a little different is because the production on it. It's a little different. A lot of people would have took that that rhyme pattern but put it on a different type of beat. I wanted okay. to have a little still more mellow chill, but the but the flow was making it up tempo. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So um, that song was actually born in a car in my Honda <laughs> Civic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, create a lot of music in the car, just you know, vibing, mm -hmm. listening to stuff. And um, basically, it was just a, like a freestyle session. And I said. Uh, I'm from Maryland, but I hustle like a Mexican. And then, like, me and, me and my brothers, Trailer Fine, whoever, we just built off of that. And we fed off the energy of just creating on the spot. And I was like, man, we got to make this a song. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was fun from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, that's where, that's where that, that song came from. So the beat was on, and then you did it off that beat, or this was just freestyle? Nah, the beat, the, the beat was on. The beat was on. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people probably think, like, man... A artist's life is lit. Uh, yeah. I spend most of my time in the car, rolling the J up, and yeah. freestyling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel yeah. you. And so it's like, that's all I do for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so like, like that's that's what's fun to me. Mm -hmm. and, and like that song was like I said it was a lot of fun to make. I like that. And it. um, I had to push something. I have a lot of like more. I want to say like lyrical hip-hop songs mm -hmm. that's enjoyed but at the same time you got to be realistic in, in today's um music environment and you got to be able to reach different audiences right. and so like that's what that's what mexican also is i'm trying to reach different audiences at different is they hear that they listen to the rest of my music and they'll be like okay that's this dude you, got, you know what i'm saying you got a younger group yeah. On this. so you just like versatile and you kind of accommodate to what's hot now in nah. addition to what you're doing, like what what we doing? Nah, I make I make whatever I feel like making at the time. Like, okay. um, like I probably uh, grown as kids on Spinrilla right now. That's my debut project. Mm -hmm. um, it's on SoundCloud as well. One of the leading songs on that was a club song called Move That. Right. Now that's probably one of the only Mexican and Move That probably one of the only two songs on that project that sound like that. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just because I was in that type of mood. You know, so it's not like saying, oh, this is hot right now, or Kodak Black is hot, so I'm going to make a song like that. I just make a song for whatever mood I'm in. Right. And um, and then I put it out for the people to decide what type of artist I have. So how long have you been doing this? Probably like a solid, <clears throat> like I've been doing music like as far as I was young, like in sixth grade. But right. um, 
taken rap seriously within the last two or three years, but I want to say more close in the last two years, mm. being more focused and, and working on my craft as an artist. So do you have, like, time constraints on yourself? Like, by year five, by the time I'm 20-something, I need to be doing this, or I need to be here, I need to be that? I mean, I feel like everybody should have goals, but art is something you can't really rush. Right. And so, like, it's all about sometimes you could start off painting a picture, mm-hmm. but by the time you done, you had a way different mindset than when you started. So it's like, I don't, I don't rush nothing. Like, my project dropped last year. I put out a couple pieces since then, but people been asking me, like, when, when, when the new music coming? When the new music coming? It's like, when, when I'm ready for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it has to come to me. I'm not going to sit down there and just put out anything just to just to do it. You know? So you don't fear people floating away because of the inconsistency? Um, yes, I am, though. I but see, the thing is, like, I, I would say anybody that's a fan of me, just be loyal. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. not just an artist. I'm a person. I go through, you know, everyday life as well. You know, so it's like if you, if you want to be a loyal fan of my music, then, then go through the struggle with me. You know what I'm saying? If, I, if, I, if I'm away from the scene a little bit, I'm, I'm never not working. Just know that, you know what I'm saying, some stuff going on. When I step back out, I'm going to be there to shine. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, since you are a person, I'm going to get into the next segment, and it's called With It or Quit It. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, statements. You just tell me you're with it. That means you agree. Or quit it. That means you don't agree. So we can kind of right. get a feel for you as a person. Okay? All right. All right. So this first one, a close friend of mine wants to get into the music industry. He's very talented, but he's ugly like Kodak Black. <laughs> I've been trying my best to convince him that he should be a songwriter or stay behind the scenes, but he won't listen. I He won't make it in this industry. <laughs> ugly people are going to just use, you know, he's ugly. So people just going to use him. You agree with that or nah? What are we doing? Mm, nah, ugly the new thing now. So, you know. <laughs> He, he right where he's supposed to be at if he trying to get in the music <laughs> <laughs> So you're not with that statement. I mean, I, I, I don't talk about no mind, so I mean, but I mean, ugly is the Ugly is winning right now. Yeah. So how you feeling on the on the bracket? Where we at with you? You ugly or you? <laughs> me? Yeah. I just, let, I just let the females decide. I don't walk around like nothing. If you, if they what they say? Smack, huh? What they be saying? I mean, they be, you know what I'm saying? Mixed reviews? Nah, nah, I don't get no mixed reviews. I get good reviews. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, nah, but, uh, I mean, I don't got no complaints. That's all I can say. Right. Okay. <laughs> Gotta stay humble. All right. If you're going to date an older woman, think about how you would feel if some young, irresponsible kid dated your mom. You oh, with man. that? This is your question. Oh, no. Nah, see, I think I'd be more mad at my mom than the kid for that. Why? Because she she's an adult and she's supposed to have a, resp- a responsible type mind. So oh, if he like 19, 20, he ain't got no job or he's just out here <laughs> lushing, like I'm not mad at him. He like, can he, have he, a job. Let's just set up a situation. You said irresponsible. Well, irresponsible could be like he just left the <sighs> left the keys in the door. You I mean, know, when he just leaving the house. I know, I know grown, grown men that do that. You know what I'm right, saying? It's irresponsible. Like 50. <laughs> but I feel you though. I mean, hey, hey, I mean, I, I tell mom, I'm man, you already raised mother. a kid, you can't, you know. I'm mad at my mother. Yeah, I'm mad at mom. You mad at mom. My mother is grown. <laughs> so he's going to do what he wants to do. If I'm he's a boy, he's he's going to do what he wants to do. That was a perfect opportunity to get in. Like, shorty, right. my mother, yes, yeah, I'm done with it. I like older Jones, <laughs> though. My All girl right. going to be mad when she see that. Okay. Oh, God. What y'all, around the same age? Who, me Ooh. and my girl? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you had spoke about her and y'all going shopping and you got her out the mall in 15 minutes. You getting good at this boyfriend thing, huh? <sighs> I said that. You sure did. <laughs> he is oh, you done went through my... I don't know. I probably tweeted that or something. I don't you know. sure I don't did. Know, I probably was turned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next one. Does Damn, voodoo man, work on white people? I just want to know, because some of these white people around here need to be taught a lesson. You agree with that or not? Nah? What's, what's the lesson? What's the yeah. lesson? I don't know. I, gotta, I say this though. You know what I'm saying? Let me choose these words wisely. <laughs> no, just, not because of my mind right here. That's not that. I ain't, he good. I ain't he about don't to care. nobody. Now I feel like a lot of white people don't know the history. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance, the uh, I think it was the governor of New York, mm-hmm. Rudy something. He said uh, it's a bad thing that black people got a general distrust of the police. 
But see, he don't know his history. The police, they motto is to serve and protect. But that was never when the police force first started. That was never for us. Right. They didn't mean serve and protect us. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So like when when we wanted to go vote and was getting lynched a lot of times the police was the one under that clan hood doing it so of course we don't trust the police <laughs> that got passed down from generation but see he don't know that history you know right. what i'm saying so if he knew that then he would think differently you know what i'm saying so yeah they, a lot of white people could learn a lesson you know so that information that you just shared is definitely not taught in school even till this day it's not so where did you get that from just like reading and and talking to people that know more than i do so when you was in school, did you ever challenge your teachers off of stuff that you learned or you was just disinterested? It was just like whatever kind of thing. Honestly, I could tell you, I went to this school called DuPont on, in the city. Mm-hmm. It was really Afrocentric, though. I had this teacher named Ms. Marshall in sixth grade. <laughs> she was like, like honestly, she could not teach probably nowhere else because they would have fired her off of she, a lot of black pride, but some people would have looked at it as white hate. Which one? Right. Which one's so, Marshall? Hmm? Which one's me? Miss Marshall, nah, nah, that was the second grade. That was her daughter. Little school. Yeah, little school. But Miss Marshall, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of knew um, a lot about my heritage and, you know, the way the world is, stuff that they want to teach you in, a, in another type of environment, mm-hmm. basically. Then I left that school and went to a, a majority white school in um, Silver Spring. Right. And the curriculum there was different. They was not. They was not talking about that type of stuff. You know, so the the black kids in my class didn't have a sense of identity like like I did coming in that school. So when you was knowing these kind of things, just being surrounded by your friends and stuff like that, did you talk to them about stuff like that? Like, did you just have conversations about what's really going on in the world or not I was in seventh grade, so, like, oh, I was okay. so this was young. And, and doing shit. Like, but it just stuck with you. Yeah, now that I'm older, if I see somebody... You know, we you sit in the car all the time. This, this bruh, like, you know, we got a whole circle. Our circle's small, but it's big at the same time. Like, mm-hmm. we sit around and roll up, like, I don't know how many J's and talk about this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like Israelites and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. <laughs> all right, so this next one. Is it wrong that as a female, I like more than one person? I have a boyfriend, though there's another guy that's gotten my attention. My friends are calling me greedy for not informing my boyfriend and continuing to see the other guy. But I see other guys do this, so why can't I? You with that? <laughs> you with that or nah? Hey, that's a, You're that. Hey. You're that. It's not. Not, we're not with, we're not with that. <laughs> we're not with that. <laughs> we're not with that. So y'all are a one-woman man. Are you, if that's I'm, not if the I'm question. In a hey, that's I didn't. Question. That's not the point. The point is, you know, we in the era where we talk about double standards and all this stuff. She just want to know. So no, I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, woman. you would have answered that off the bat. Nah, so now we know. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> She's about to take and it to you, a whole new. You got a whole girl, so that should have just been off the break. Like, yeah, like duh. But you didn't. So what? What are we doing with that? Now I said I'm a if I if I'm in a relationship I'm I'm a one man type of girl. You know what I'm saying? That's I mean, why I oh, said where's the question? That, hey, don't add that. The That's real right there. I mean, the I'm question a, yeah, is, you know do you saying? agree with the I mean. statement or not? She has like, a boyfriend. Yeah, she has a boyfriend. No. Talking to other dudes, but she, entertaining no. other dudes. Yeah, she entertaining nah, somebody. We do not. She ain't go con- all the way out, but I mean, nah, she like him. Nah, nah, no, no. Cause see, females, y'all want us to have tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. we kind of, like, my girl got mad at me because I said, I think it was like, we were watching some TV show. It might have been Nicki Minaj or something. I'm like, ah, she bad. She got real life mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh. like, she's on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't go, go smack at her. Like, that don't mean I don't love you. You know what I'm saying? But speaking of that, if, if this your career is going to go where you want it to go and you might be able to do a song with Nicki and things ain't working out with Nas and she free and you got that time in the studio, y'all working on a whole project See, no. and Straight your girl still there, so then what we doing? I'm going to let my mind answer that one. Nah, you're not touching it. It's wow. working. Straight business. Oh, okay. See, that's what, that's what, that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's how you fuck Because now she's blurred. not on TV anymore. That's how you mess the money you up. See, you see what happened to Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they did a couple songs together, then they started messing around. They messed and the then money they got in a relationship, and, and then he got in his feelings and started dissing Drake. You know right. what I'm saying? And then he gave Remy Ma info on Nick. You see how dirty that got off right. of it? They just did business, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, just, you could, you could have fun, you could make friends with somebody. They made just, Remy just Ma business. bigger just by 
respond and exactly. that was perfect for yeah. real. that whole that situation was, was nasty it could have been avoided just by be- doing business you know what I'm saying? so you could see yourself being faithful in this career like constant women throwing themselves at you you in this city this city that city and I'm you not. just the one woman man that's it temptation you got boobs in your face you got butt brushing up she against you and you just you. good <laughs> she's trying to bad you so. i'm not i'm just good you we just speaking like this may I'm one day my, become your I'm life i'm gonna put my best effort <laughs> and that's all you can ask from a man you know what i'm saying like dang like, and then like, not nah, real life you i could, mean that's honest your, i'm not gonna be no hoe see it's it's men out here being hoes they just going after any and everything they so you gonna care. be selective they got a whole girl or wife at home they, they don't even care so you, know? you gonna be selective <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm going to put forth effort. I like her effort, words, you know right? Like, she is good at this. I'm going to put forth effort, and then I got to weigh the risk. You know what, what do saying? you mean put forth the effort? So you're just going to not put the your... Effort, like, so you're not going to put yourself in that situation. So it's yeah, like, girl, like she looking be- like her or her whole crew, and she like, like, I just want to come backstage. Like, I'm a big fan of yours. You gonna dish your nah, fan like that? Nah, she come backstage. Right. Who thought But I'm gonna have I'm gonna have like my cameraman right this there. Y'all. Everything I'm be this y'all. Like, Who thought is this? You can't start no. You can't mess around with like a fan, cause that's you a can. fan. You know what I'm saying? They're going they're going to stalk your Twitter. They're going to take gonna pictures of you while you sleep. So all because that. you're going to get caught up, it's yeah, like I'm not going to mess with her. Yeah, you better off cheating. Or if you're uh-huh. going to cheat, cheating with another I'm artist because right. they know how to carry themselves. You so you saying? already got this planned out. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'm just, I'm just saying, know. like, you you seem like My you mapping it out. See this, so I, it's, I'm limited to what I can say on this. It's uh, no need to be limited. She got to know what she. Sorry, it's like, it's good to be guys. honest. Nah, nah, that's just the relationship. <laughs> Me and my girl, we be joking around. Right, so so when you she good. Watches, she going to laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's right. not even like that. You know but saying? just, you know, it's good that, you know, she watched this back. When yeah, time comes, she know how to prepare for it. I'm a. Yeah, say my man. girl, man. <laughs> you keep saying that a one cool. girl man, but anyway, she's so cool. you're so she'll be traveling with you, yeah, preferably. Sometimes, okay. sometimes I like to hang with you know what I'm saying. Just she got okay. But yeah, she can. So we doing like a ti tiny thing uh, before the they're divorce. They getting divorces. I mean, before that. that. <laughs> yeah, divorces. <laughs> nah, we see like she be there me. backstage, you know. Like see me right. I'm all about whoever around me. Like, I want them to be able to eat. So, like, my girl, she want to start a, a shoe company, like mm-hmm. a luxury shoe brand. So, say, for instance, I, I'm going to bring her around me. That way she could network with people. You know what I'm saying? I, I might be over here doing this, but Oprah Winfrey publicist might be over there. You know right. what I'm saying? And she could go ahead and talk. You know, that's how I, that's why I would bring her. Because it's all that's about, good. you know what I'm saying, the family, making sure everybody could have plugs to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So we're going to end with it and quit it with this last question right here. Is it wrong that I wish good looking people with nice bodies burn enough so they can understand how it feels to be ugly? Why are you going back to these ugly questions? Well, they always (laughs) talk about beauty. (laughs) They always talk about beauty is on the inside. Well, let's see how much friends you'll have when your outside beauty is burnt. You agree with that? Like literally burnt? Like, 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 burnt. Like, they do acid <laughs> like what do you mean when you say burnt? Like, Look, I didn't make this <laughs> like, up, so I don't know. Like, 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 a house fire burnt, like. Oh, yeah, she probably mean like that. Or maybe. Third degree burns. Maybe. Whatever make your outside ugly. Or you just smoke too much high, and you wow. look burnt. Oh, I'm burnt. Like, you that don't mean I'm ugly, You could be physically though. burnt. No, that don't mean you... I'm, I'm burnt now. That don't mean I'm ugly, though. Well, that's an opinion. <laughs> hey, go ahead. She talk about physically burnt. Like, you're, you're, uh, I'm just like trying you're to... ugly now. Like, you I look mean, like a monster her now. This is interpretation because these questions are not generated by me. These are questions that actual people have. So, I don't know because I haven't spoken so with them. you said is it wrong to wish somebody could get... Be a, like you, yeah, like bad. you wish people with beauty, <laughs> beautiful with nice bodies could be burnt. Yeah, that's bad. That's very bad. Yes. You're not but they just want them to know how it feels. That's kind of like you have self hatred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you like end up hurting yourself like with that mentality. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you ask like, like where's I'm all sorry. these self esteem <laughs> questions and stuff coming from? This is really big in the music. Now, scene. Whoever asked that yeah. question, I want them to. I want them to take that negativity out of their mindset. Is this is really major because. Like, I spoke with previous guests and stuff like that. When it comes to money, your image will change. <coughs> if the money right and they say you need to look gay, you need to act this way, look, nah, the right amount of money, you might become thing. somebody I've nah. never, like, expected you, you sell, to be. That's when you sold your soul. Yeah, exactly. That's, right. that's, that's the, the definition like, of selling out right there. But when that check is like, sitting right there, you say that now, but opportunity come, you just, I mean, you might look, be like, man. You say it now, but you can't, you got you to think of yourself as you can't be bought. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can't be bought. It's a lot of people that still doing from the 90s. 
who have not done nothing wild. You get what I'm like saying? Who take care of all? They educated themselves to take care of all aspects of their business. But times you have changed now. It that don't wasn't matter. a social media Erica era. Erica Badu is never gonna fall off. That wasn't a social media era. But she's not gonna never fall off. Just that's, that's the only but person that, I got But a name, she started like, back then, yeah. so she already got her name. She's good. You're right. Ne- like you now, you starting out, now. out. Yeah, coming out now. I mean, you feel like she did, Erica? She she made, she but that's just after. That was after twenty. 20 years, you got, I'm slicing it, but you got Right, what I so mean. you forgave it because she started she back then. But this and she is got now. on camera naked, but literally, we never seen her naked on the jump. You get what I mean? It's like a movie. I mean, like, people I mean, I get on like movies this, nah. and get paid. Nah, you shouldn't change million, who you are. Two million artists. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> you said you sold So we about to get into <laughs> your did, single, and what is that called? Single called Mexican, featuring Trailer Fine Grimes, produced by Ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to check it out. Shot by The Goat. Digital Six Media, you know what I'm saying? All right, check that out, y'all. I'm trailer fine, baby. I'm from Maryland, but I hustle like a Mexican. I learned my lesson, I should never text my ex again. I smell a lot of estrogen. Got a name, now they claiming that they Mexican. All right, we are back. That was Mexican, like... Listen, go on YouTube, Vivo, check that out. I did. I definitely like it. It's a dope song. So we about to get into our next segment. It's called Peep That Tweet. So, yes, my assistant, she was up in the Twitter. So I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions about things that you tweeted, and that goes for <laughs> Tore as well. So oh, let's do this. So we're going to start out with your own. This first one, one day my future son will Google me and everything will be understood. So what would he find when the time comes? <laughs> what what we finding on Google and what is it that will be now understood? Case search. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, nah, nah, because see, nah, I, I had pressure on me at a at not too long ago. Some, you know, what I'm saying I had like a, it was somebody that had a baby fever. You know what I'm saying, and mm. I was like, I'm not ready for it right now, and mm-hmm. so like, I don't got no kids. So. Okay. I was like, man, if yeah. maybe if when he do come. I'm going to try to be the best father, but if he feel like I dropped the ball in certain areas, he could Google his father and see, man, he was putting at work before I was even born. He been, like, consistent with this, and he'll understand, like, he'll be able to understand what they... I had a relationship with my father where, like, my father always had, like, three jobs. I didn't have a personal, personal... He lived in a house, right. but I didn't have a personal relationship. I was I, I grew up angry at him a lot, but then, uh, but then as I got older... I understood more, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and then that's what I meant by that. I be tweeting when I'm when I'm smart. I okay. probably don't tweet sober. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so is it for the art or the fame? You tweeted that. So for you, which one is it? It's for the it's for the art. Honestly, it's no use about to say fame. It's for the art. <laughs> so it's not for the fame at all. Nah, because I mean, if you good at what you do. Fame will come, come along with, with that. You know what I'm saying? But you can't say, oh, I'm trying to be famous. That's why I'm doing art because that's not real. Art, art is like like one person that, and my, uh, shout out Hippie Life Crew on Visto. Oh, my uh, this man fine. named uh, Painter Man DC mm-hmm. was living on the streets. He had no, no materials. He was using stuff that he found on the ground to paint portraits and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, yeah, he might get the fame, but he was still making art broke, homeless. You know what I'm saying? And so like, now he got a little, he was on Fox 5 and all that, but mm-hmm. it, he's still doing art with no so fans. So you still doing music with no fans? Like, would you still be doing that? I'm I got not no saying fans. you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't know, say son. that. I didn't say that. This I'm saying. That's what it sounds like, Jones. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I, think, I, I didn't mean that. Fans. I probably got no, like no, five no. Fans. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying, would you still be going hard at the music and If I had no fans? No fans. <laughs> That's I mean, how you start. That, like, now, one thing that motivates me though is people do come up to me and be like, "Man, now I've seen people cry, right, and stuff." So, like, I've been out front of the club, niggas bro, rap, stinking, telling me, "Bro, bro, keep working, bro." You so you doing saying? it for both, really? Yeah, I mean, I do it because I see she what it mean to people. You, bro. I'm not talking about for the fame. You talking about when you say, "Nah, both, I do it for yeah, the people." Yeah, art and the fame. Okay, I do it for the people. You know what I'm saying? And the people make you famous. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You gotta think about your about uh, your audience. A person that's like forty five who he might have 
got locked up when he was 25 and he never right. got a chance to chase his dreams. So when he see another another young man doing that, Put it like it's this. like he, he get motivated. Get That's what I do it for. You need to be in life, you have to be known, you have to be seen. So yeah, yes, you, you have now. to be famous. Not necessarily you want the fame because nobody wants to be Walked around with the camera and they face twenty four seven pop up or with security. Say. You know what I'm saying? Or security. Like, that's, that's stupid. You like, gotta want the hype but though. We you definitely want the, want the, you, 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 I mean, the hype. I mean, you fame. want the hype because that's going to sell what you're trying to sell. It comes with it. Like you need that to sell your product or whatever it might be. And if we go back to it, the woman wouldn't be backstage if he wasn't famous. You hear me? But, yeah, but I mean, like, that, 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 those are the perks yeah, that come with. Yeah, like, it. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of private hard work. Not a lot of people. Like, I can't hide it. You know what I mean? Right. I make clothes. Like that's different for somebody my my, my height. You know what I mean? All right. So this last one: hate the pain, but eventually you become numb to it. Why is it that men have a problem with expressing their feelings, or do you agree that they do? I mean, I'm a I'm a artist, so like. I express my feelings through music and mm -hmm. whatever. But, I mean, I don't know. I guess certain people don't want to look vulnerable. Right. You understand that as men, yeah, uh, the world look at to us as protectors. So many different titles we get protectors, you know what I'm saying, breadwinners or, you know what I'm saying, even if it's a if a roach run out right here, you're going to expect one of us to kill that, you know what I'm saying, before right. you. And so it's like, it's like, we can't show certain sides of weakness, even the other men sometimes. You it's, think that's weakness? And that's weakness? supposed to be like that, huh? You think that's weakness? Depending on who looking at you. I mean, I wouldn't say, yeah, depending on who looking at you. Because you said, you know what I'm saying? hate the pain, but eventually you become numb with it. But why not just deal with it head on so that you're good and you can really move on? It's time to go. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even my, my grandfather done worked his whole life hard at heart attack and that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure he probably felt pains in his chest and ignored it because he got to get the money, you know what I'm saying? And right. then he became numb to it. After a while, he ain't feel it no more, but that same, the problem was still, he, he right. died. You know what I'm so saying? So when your son come back and Google you, would you be happy to say, like, here, he ain't see no pain, I ain't faced nothing, I just oh, dealt nah. with it like a man? Or you going to teach him, like, it's okay, if you feel something, I want you to come to me, like, yeah, as my to son, to my dad. So... Yeah. So you feel like it's father. okay to his father, but just not outsider. It depends. Like he, my son gonna have this wild bleep bleep right here. You know what I'm saying? Cause we on we on radio, or whatever. <laughs> and he gonna have tra he gonna have grimes. He gonna have he gonna have he gonna have some wild uncles. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he gonna have a host of. He, he might not be able to talk to me about nothing, but he can go to them and talk to them. He he gonna be a hype basically. He gonna right. have a village around him, mm -hmm. but he can show them. He can show that side to them. But we gonna have to let him know that out here, and especially the way this world going now, man. Like. You know, you can't you can't be out here like you gotta move a certain way. You gotta move a certain way, right. basically. Can't be a crash dummy. So time. let's get just a couple of tweets from you because we about to get out of here. So, um, you said I don't get along with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that? That's facts though. You don't. Why? Don't what does that say that. about you? Because I don't think it's the people around you. If it's anybody, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, people like arguing with me about things. But they you go I back and forth. They don't, I don't go back and forth. I try to let it go. So, but then they want to pick your brain, so you're going to give them what they want. I'm going to answer your question. That's just point blank, period. And if, everything is an opinion. You get what right. I mean? That's how I think about it. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. But they feel the need to get their opinion off, so I'm going to get my opinion off. It's like talking about politics. Nobody likes to talk about this. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, it's your side versus mine. Like That's all it is. I don't... Uh I argue a lot. I put it like that. I just argue a lot. Very uh, argumentative person right there. I, like, I don't okay, like being so wrong. Okay, so he seconds that. Okay, so you like are argumentative. Yeah. So it's not everybody else. It's really yeah, it's you. everybody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's everybody else. Cool. I don't know how I feel about that, but you said thinking about taking my talents out of the DMV because y'all janky. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come That's on, make it here at home. What's what's up? What, what situations have you been in personally that have caused you to have that mentality? 2013, I started like taking fashion shows. Mm. I, I probably only had one piece like ever to start some. Uh, had a fashion show, V store. Everybody was there. It was at um. What lounge is there? They changed it, the uh, cities. Oh, yeah. They changed it, the city's lounge or whatever. Next it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I got cool with a couple designers in there because I was trying to be that nigga to link up. 
you know, get cool with people. I wasn't trying to be like half the DMV rappers, right. you know, who don't want to work with each other. They're starting to do it now. I'm yeah. proud of it. I'm seeing it happen. But, you know, people always, it's a copycat city, like mm -hmm. state, whatever. Like people feel as though you stole things from them or they stole from you. I don't even follow you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not even nah, off no. Somebody has been stealing and biting from the brand. Some, oh. they, I, I don't even remember the name, but we ran see. Ran off with my logo, and everybody yeah. got elephants now. And so basically, this girl tried to say that I, I stole her, her, her sweatpants, her jogger I did. Like, ever since then, I've been having other people come to me. Like, like things that I've been making yes. from jump. Like, I have oh. a pattern. Like, this is just what I do. Like, I use the same fabric, same way of doing it. Right. And then I see it on yours. You get what I'm saying? You saying I stole it from you, but, like, you have, like, 13 different jumps of this. And I only made one, and this is old. And you coming to me about this three years later. You get what I'm saying? It's, when I didn't bend it, this. And I bend it. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like it's just, it's just crazy to me, like. Like, there's no love left in the area. Like, you can't just oh, be proud of a person for... When it, when it started making noise, that's when the hate came out. I got blocked and this and that and all. It's, just, it's a long story. I don't want to talk about it no more. Uh, <laughs> she, it like was a person who was close to me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I was really... You get very emotional. Yeah, I don't like talking about it, but, uh, you know. All right, well, but it's, it wasn't the only time it happened. It happened a lot since then. You know, I, I well, really we changing. Want... We trying. Yeah, you know. We trying. It's going to happen. It's I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> All right, so this last one before we get out of here with your tweets. Everyone in my generation is trying their hardest to make it, but what is your definition of making it? What's the question? What is your definition What is of my definition? What does making it oh, mean to oh. you? I don't got to be rich to feel like I made it as long as I'm comfortable with my family taking care of, like, my daughter eat her at night. You know, I got a, my own place to stay, stay in the car. You know what I'm saying? I can pay my bills off the things I love. That's making it, you know what I'm saying? A million dollars, uh, yeah, I'm on, but, yeah. you know, making it is just leaving my environment where I grew up in. I'm just tired of saying the same things, same people. I live in a townhouse. I want a big house, you know. Right. A lot of grass, no neighbors. I hear that, man. Like, <laughs> that's you know? A lot of grass, right no I'm neighbors. Put a that's a hook right there. You might make a song that day. Do her Stay back that. There. That's but good. don't steal it because everybody in DMV junkies. So make sure you give them that credit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's next for you, Yoro? What are we doing? Any shows, new music, wow. videos? Shows, we got a lot. I'm working on a project right now. I wasn't even supposed to say that. Come on, I didn't tell even want to tell, tell my closest folks that, but. Uh, I ain't going to tell y'all the title don't of it right now. It's just real that, personal. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say too much, though, but. I mean, we got some good works coming out, though, put it like that. We working on the moving in a film. We trying to shoot documentaries. and Trailer Fam all about art, you know what I'm saying? I promise we, everything. we not boring, you. We I everything. promise we good, not boring. We film, boring. fashion, music. We not going to be on a camera and say, yo, this the game. You yeah, know? we won't do that type. Gang, gang. gang. We're yeah. not going to do that a yeah. million times. I mean, That's not gang. what we're going to do. Gang, you know what I'm we I mean, it's that everybody to do that. It's you not going to be us sitting you know in the saying? car like, smoking all day, drinking beers and liquor. It's not going to be, be that. It's going to be real life, huh? It's going to be real life. Like, we really that work. is a big part of our life, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with you That's in the, the fashion? <laughs> um, so my brand, Toreo Della, I have more than one brand. I have two brands. The other one is uh, NBK. I call it Brothers for sure. It's my brother's keeper. Um, but the Torre with the one with the elephant logo, that uh my upscale brand. Mm. I'll be dropping like more summer colors this next month. It's my birthday, so I'll probably drop some okay. more stuff. And then uh probably start sewing a little bit more. And wintertime manufacturer, so I have a lot a lot more better work for y'all this year. So That's exciting. So where can they follow you, find you, stalk you? Uh Torre Z L T O U R E. That X E L L E. That's my main page. I can follow me. I barely be on my brand page. I ain't gonna lie. So. Come on, we gotta get get going with that. And you over there? Uh, Y U R O Euro Dot La Fam L A F A M. Follow Trailer Fam the brand page T I three L A F A M on Instagram. Raw originality on SoundCloud. Mexican or Vivo. Everything like that. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, that was your old Torrey, and I'm Diamond B. Frazier, the Kickback Zimbabwe. We'll see y'all next time. All right. Mm -hmm.